this time. The Viani Club one. The Viani Club one. The Viani Club two. The Viani Club three. Good job, you. And there is Spoon TV with me, Sylvester Chiropoli. Please kindly stay with us as we bring you this live coverage ready. All right. Bobby Arms for a junior computer lab opening at Jules L. Low Public School, Mahasta, Mosorano County, Nigeria. So we go straight onto the program. We have opening prayer by Reverend Wade. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Hi, 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 Thank you for the supporters. Thank you, Lord, that you can bring this lab, uh, computer lab into our, our school. Father, we commit it to you. We pray, Father God, that the facility will be used to be honored and glorious to your name. Our children will benefit for the future of our country. Thank you for the conversion of the program. I will pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you. Welcome to Mark by Emma Nath. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry, Sika. The executive director of the FBI, Mark Honor Pike, the S. Capitan, the FBI. Um, this is the visiting school, students by the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. For and on behalf of the family of the Elbow Public School, we want to welcome all of you here today in Jesus' name. We will take the introduction of the program by our brother, Kore Dagose. Hello. Ah. Hello. Today we're coming to do something big here for kids. Let me see your hands up. Hands up, everybody. Who all here know about Bobby? Be sincere. Who all know about Bobby? I see you. Who all not know about Bobby at all? Hands up. Okay, hands up. Hands up. Okay, Lobby Arm for Latvia is a non-profit organization who were established in the year 2018. Oh, we are not only limited to this by period for people We are also engaged in so many activities. We help the leverage, we build our uh, house of the blank we also help uh, in visually impaired people and also often. So today is not something strange to Liberia, more especially in Mongolia. We also help so many schools. We help uh, uh, the Moroga Football Academy, Tinas, uh, where has come as Levy School. So today is the time. Loving arm for Liberia as long as we visit you people on your campus, we do something big for you. So today, we would like to donate one of the most large computer labs for you people to have access to the world. To put your computer, to access your computer, to import data and upload data. Who are here about that one? Nobody. So today, Loving arm is here for you all to have Education on computer. I thank you. Thank you, Brother Foden. 
So we will take few remarks from our guests here today. First day they say, ladies before gentlemen, so we will take our who this is Sis Benata from us. When we say loving, you say arms. Loving, arms. Loving, arms. When we say loving, you say arms. Loving, arms. Loving, arms. So I greet you first and foremost. Um, I thank you all for having us here. My name is Vanetta Thomas. I am representing the awesome village of the Liberia Association of Michigan. Um, and we are supporting our brother Tony, loving arms for Liberia, who is a pillar in our community. And so it wouldn't be a time of us coming and being in Liberia without being present to support our brother. I want to say publicly in this forum, Tony, thank you for all the hard work. This man can be up early in the morning at our community center, giving back, whether it's opening the building, whether it's supporting the children and youth, whether it's just being a helping hand, we want to say at the Liberian Association of Michigan, thank you so much. And on behalf of our current leadership, Mr. Mannix Kroma, Carolyn Nemo, and the amazing village of Michigan, we stand with Tony at the United Front. And Tony, however way we can be hands for you, we're standing in the gap with you. Thank you so much. That's it. Thank you, Mama. So we'll take our old daddy, Samson Koba. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I will start, before the remarks, I will start with a simple test. And everybody that passed that test, we get a prize. I saw Right here. The eyes, who all knows about computer? And there were several hands up. That's eyes that question again. Who all knows about computer? Okay. Those that know about computer are going to teach us of the computer. And teaching us, they will answer questions. I got as many as eight or ten questions if you want. And each person that answers one of those questions right. We got a five US dollar. And the first question I'm gonna be Can anybody stand and name me three parts of a computer? Those that know of a computer, let's see you. If you know, if you know it, don't be shy. Come on, talk it. Tap that up and say it. Okay, we reduce it. Instead of three, name two parts. Maybe you don't know all three, but you know two. I reduce it to one part. One. Hey, you got it. You got it. Say it again. It's not people. This man got a five dollars. What's it? So this fellow has just won for himself five US dollars for identifying a part of a computer, and he just named a part of the computer as keyboard. So he won for himself five US dollars. So you can answer the question. Okay, this question is for the visiting school. So I see you are a little rude and much better. What part of the computer is the CPU? Oh. 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 Say, you please. The computer has three major parts, and the keyboard makes it a four. We got the CPU, yes. the keyboard, the monitor. You got it? And the mouse. 
Can anybody tell me those parts? What the function? It doesn't have to be for you. Any one of you out okay. there. What does it do? Go ahead. Play keyboard there to import data into the computer. Thank you. Come to the mic. Come and say it again. Say it again. The keyboard is used to import data into the computer. You said the keyboard is used to import data into the computer. And to make it simple, all the keyboard does is to type the information like a type writer. You just type the information in it. Most of us have a cell phone. With the computer, the keyboard is what you use to text your messages in. That's the keyboard. And the CPU is the one that carries on a major processing of the computer. And you have the monitor, it's a screen, just like a television on the screen. That as you type it into it, you see what you type in on the screen board. I remember there was a time, a few years back during the time of the war, there were no utilities in Liberia. Students, I saw a now they say, went up Mama Point with their feet in beds for the mosquitoes. And what they did, the major thing they did up Mama Point around the embassy and the Masonic Temple is to go and stay because there were no utility. Today we have solar panels on the wall. I can remember also seeing students on the laptop, on the cell phone, gather around the one cell phone to find information, to do their assignments and all of that. Today you are blessed. You are graced. God is blessing you. And all God is telling you to stay in school. Don't decide today we're not doing anything there, I'm not going to school. Every day that you come to school, you will learn something. Now that you have a computer lab, let everybody, the instructor is going to divide it time to get into the computer. It is our duty as a person who's using it to protect it. If you're sitting somewhere and you hear your friends, Talking about the lab and trying to plan, planning anything, you are buddy, tell the instructor. That lab is for you. It's not for nobody. Tomorrow when you leave from here and go, quarter, and they talk about computer, you will know definitely I have done something about computer. Let me tell you one more story. A lot of us. I mean, when I say us, I mean all of you of this age group. Leave your parents or some relative of you might be successful to process paper that you might leave to go to the United States. And this is a true story. Sometimes we have some students that will go to the United States, and when you go to the elementary class, and you get in the class, the children there are talking about computer and got their own computer, their own labs, and all of that. Now you who have not seen a computer, and you up to a certain level, maybe you might be in to the seven, eighth grade when you leave, and you are put into that class. You sit there and look into the sky. You will be kind of an accent. You'll be empty. You don't know what's happening. Because what? You have not seen or used a computer before. But today, you are blessed that if you put yourself into it and put your time into it, with the instructor's help, you learn something. Anywhere you leave, what you have learned will not leave you alone. You can go and get your PhD, PhD, any kind of thing. They will do anything for you. They will cut your skin, take the blood out of your body, but what you have learned will always be. So my few words to you is stay in school. Learn what you gotta learn. 
give praises to loving arms of Liberia and the people that support the loving arms of Liberia that you don't know. Your production will prove to them that they have done something to help somebody. I said that to tell you, I'm a product of West Hudson High School. I graduated from West Hudson High School. The same, but a different thing. The principal, the former founder of West Hudson came to Liberia to provide hope for the people. And West Hudson is not the only school. There were several other schools. They came to provide hope. And that hope, that word hope, is what Love Arms is providing for you. It's giving you a hope for the future, starting you with the computer. When internet is added to that, just as you use your phone, get on the internet, go through, see everything that you want to see. You're going to be here and going to be guided to do it on the computer. So it's left with you all to know the computer. Praise God that you are opportune to be a few that will be able to be taught how to operate and use the computer. I pray for you all and I pray for the hands that provided these things and I ask God to bless you all. Bless you all that tomorrow or day after one of you sitting here will be talking, I want to be the president of my people. And you will ask yourself, where did that start from? The computer lab that was provided to us. Nice to see you all. God bless you all. And thank you. We'll take another one from the principal of Jones Elbow, Mr. Cody. Good afternoon to all. Uh, before my principal speaks, I want to sincerely extend my thanks and appreciation to loving and like you. In my capacity, I advise principal for instruction of the institution. Again, I just want to say thank you. I promise you that the computers that you are brought here will be used for internal purpose. We face the schedule in such a way that all of the cakes will benefit adequately. So again, I want to say thank you and God bless you. I also want to say thank you for you again in particular. Because if you can be way in America and continue to remember your country, it's a pride. I love you for that. Thank you so much. God bless you. Before I uh, speak, I will ask the students, population of the Jew Elmo Public School, to please stand and sing our school vote. Are we out here? Yes! Are we out here? Yes! Are we kind of free to sing our school vote, right? Yes! One, two, three, go!
administration and they are brought smart to the business of the apprentice. And today we can boast of a new furnace computer lab. Can we clap for that? The, the first time I entered out with Mr. Wasi, it was through one of my schoolmates and the other before me, Mr. Stalo. She the one brought loving arms to John Elmo School. And he said you were willing to work with the kids. A lot of requests, and you've been fired. A lot of requests were made by me to Paravasi. And he told me, Mr. Guni, so long you are waiting, waiting to work and to improve this school, I will work with you and your administration. Mr. Wasi, I say thank you for, for saying your promise to this school. And also our funny work. To make this be a success, we ask that all my dear God be finished this morning. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, there's a VBI in fact I've been given to me this afternoon. The only man gave me 20 US dollars. Right? The two students that answer the question, they are going to receive five dollars each. The student in the same subject with a higher average. The student in the same subject with a higher average, two females. When your average is in the 80 or 85, you're going to need the bath without instruction. He's going to give you five dollars each. Are we there? Are we there? I also want to say thank you for the motivation. Because most of the time, the students run away from the sound subject. And we are encouraging them to be part. We are encouraging them to be part. The same thing a male student can do, the female student can do it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your offer. Thank you for your time. To not discourage the boys, I will add another 20, and this time it will be for four boys. Two good in math and two in science. So they have five dollars each. One. The, the principal will define the two, the four students or the six of you. You have to learn math or science to really be a computer specialist. And it's encouraging you to go and learn it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, we continue to boy up. I wish our NPA school again. <laughs> yeah, I wish our NPA school to take that challenge. The senior kind of tell us that we must put our time. He's not just saying that he has seen the money, right? The money will be with the vast bit of instruction because he work on the grids. Uh, learning R is real happy out to buttress government effort. And we want to really be so thankful to God for this partnership. We really embrace it. We go there with care. And my TV asked the all. You can count on us. 
every time you come on this campus, every time you pay a visit, that computer lab will be intact. Juyamo is one of the public schools that stand for academic excellence. And that is our goal. Thank you so much for the time and effort. We take words from our very own CEO. <laughs> and we have to thank you. Our own CEO, Anthony Waxley, your house. And the second one, please. Thank you, Madam. So we take words from any of you, any of the visiting schools here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. On the floor and on behalf of the administrator and the proprietors of New Life Business School, we want to say a very big thank you for the invite. It is our prayer that the purpose for which we come for will be met. And whatsoever promises that is to be made by Lobby House will be useful and then the school administration will take these properties or these facilities very important. Again, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the feedback and God bless us all. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Everybody remember me last year when I came last year? Yes. You did? Yes. What did I do? What did I do? Uh, one person gonna talk. Who wants? Who wants to talk? What did I do last year? Come, 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 come talk. You wanna talk? You wanna talk? Okay, come. Get up, come. What did I do last year? Give. Eh? Give. What can I give? What can I give? Nah. You said you shake it. Okay. And then what did I say I was gonna do last year? No, what did I say I was gonna do last year for you guys? I can't hear you, I keep quiet. What did I say I was doing for you guys last year? Anybody remember? You remember? Eh? I said I was going to install a computer lab for you guys, right? Yes. Did I say it? Yes. Have you seen a new computer lab? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. They asked you guys earlier about computers. Did anybody know anything about computer? Who knows send an email? Who knows how to send an email? Anybody know how to send an email? Oh, you don't know how to go email? Okay, who knows how to send a text message on the phone? Y'all get it? Y'all get it, yeah? Do you see? You know how to send a text message on your phone? It's the same thing as a computer. That's exactly what one person, of one person was saying. We just took, we took the phone and we put it on a big monitor on a laptop. Now you can send me an email. Anybody on, on Facebook? Everybody on Facebook? Oh, I see a spider. You on Facebook? Y'all on Facebook? Eh? Y'all on Instagram? Eh? Okay, so what do you use for your, your Facebook? What do you use for Facebook? Eh? 
What do you use? Data. What instrument do you use? What device do you use? Huh? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I say a phone. For what? Is there which device do you use for Facebook? June L. Smo. Okay, if I you so it also get busy, right? Yes. Okay, but it takes a village. It takes a village. You gotta keep quiet now. It takes a village to make this computer lab to happen. First, I want to tell God, thank you. Everybody go to church? Yes. Y'all pray? Yes. Okay, so you see what God has done? Let's give God a big clap. I think that clap was for you, and that was for God. That gave God a big clap. Okay, that clap for the prison wall. You won't get God in, get God a thing. Stand on your feet and say what? Come on.
Who job you? Who job me? Everybody sit talk. Again, I'd like to thank the staff of Loving Up on Liberia who have made this possible for us. Evan over there. Evan, come on. Evan was the one I have to build a complete life for you guys. Come on, Evan. Elijah Ray with the camera. Love T right here. What I begin at? What am I at? I begin, man. In the kitchen. Every month we feed you guys for food, right? Every month. You say what? Somebody said no. But we have to feed you guys for food. Right. So. So the staff have been helping to do all this work for you guys. I want to tell, tell them thank you for the hard work. And we're waiting to do more for you guys. Okay? So, loving others here to pass up. Oh, Evie, that Evie yeah. Evie is the one that helped to build this company alive. So, yeah, that's it. Evie, thank you. I gave you hard time, but he's the guy that helped. How many people like that built for us? I built two company alive. And uh, um, we're looking for a the first one, and this one, and we're hoping to meet you. So you guys gotta take care of your computers, and make sure they're okay, but clean. Do not damage them for the next person that you go. So all your children can make use of them. So take care of them, they are yours, right? Happy and you know, clap your head. If you happy and you know, 
Listen, I gotta be very, very honest with you. I will borrow that one from my CEO. Uh, you know, you guys are very blessed. I know you guys tired hearing this, but so you are so blessed. We are uh, going to see yes, some of us complete on that. We never had this opportunity. So we are going to take a look to see how the lab looks like. Or even get a good sir when I was in high school to so I graduated from high school. Even after I have graduated from high school, I have to pay my own school fees to go to computer school and learn. But to let you guys know, you guys should be happy and you should appreciate everything that is going on here. Um, I want to appreciate our father in the house, Mr. Kova. So this is the lab. This is the lab. Uh, this is the lab that is being built by the organization right here, Loving Arms for Liberia. So these are uh, the computers. So, so you have about, uh, I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen computers. All right. So, uh, yeah. So maybe you could just tell us, tell us um, exactly maybe the value. Um, how much you spend, you know, in making sure that uh, this institution has a computer lab that we are seeing today? You want to know how much I spend? Yes. Uh, for yeah, everything? For everything. Okay. First of all, my name is Anthony Watson. Okay. And I'll see you for a for like me. We have truly here decided that we want to we want to increase children receive computers in Liberia. So we have a dinner every year where we raise money to buy computers. In the US. In the US. And sometimes we'll go to organizations. So my company has a lot of computers. The Love Arms of Liberia. The company I work for, DTE Energy. Okay. Yeah, Love Arms of Liberia is an organization I represent. Okay. DTE is a, it's a company I work for. Okay. Like LEC in Liberia. Okay. In the US. In the US. Okay. In Michigan. Okay. I go to them and I ask them for computers. We take the computers that is giving us donation mm -hmm. and then we reprogram them we come to a program for the children. But last year we had somebody that gave us what ten thousand dollars to buy just the computers. Okay. So 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 these computers are brand I mean new computers. No no food. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Okay. Loving arms for Liberia. Okay. Yes. And they look very new in the way. Look very, very new. So um true I mean I mean every time you put half meeting like dinner and then you um raise funds raise funds, you know, for this cause. people home, back home. Yeah, That's Liberia. Like yeah. yeah, for children. For children. Focus on children. Yes. Specifically for education. For education. So loving arms is predominantly focused on the education in the health. Okay. Right? Mm. So the education aspect is what we do with computers. Okay. But in the future to typing. Okay. What children that in the school right now, they're breaking out for the center of the school. So we come in of other person, how can we empower these children to have access to computers? in Liberia, in the government school system. Mm. So now, um, I, I, I was there when I think you and uh, the principal were asking the students as to, I mean, how many of them actually uh, know something about computer. You couldn't see, I mean, you couldn't really find any of them coming up. Now. Did they tell you exactly how we did teach the students in making sure that for the next few months or years, at least, so most of them can be computer literate. Yeah, so the whole idea is to first understand the keyboard. Okay. Okay, like you said, they don't know anything about computer at home. Mm -hmm. So 
the Iger is teaching them about just touching the laptop. Knowing what they keep, what I think what's going to learn. Right? Most of them, the most like drink get up and say, oh, I need a book and have somebody help me to fill up an application online. Mm -hmm. I hear that in my most of the time. Because they don't have the literacy to do those things. So we're gonna start targeting the young children right now in Liberia. So they don't have to ask somebody to fill up so, an application for them. What I mean by that is uh, because I know previously they weren't, you know, having anything like, you know, uh, people or instructors who know about uh, computers, you know, and now you have built this this lab. And I think they have to go elsewhere getting people who are capable enough to teach, teach those students. Yeah. So what I mean, that's, that's a loan and, you know, a, like hiring another new teachers to make sure that uh, students learn about so computers. So for, for, for the next one year, we're going to partner with them, which we have done already, to help them to know more about this computer and work with their instructor to train them on the software on this computer. Okay. The issue of uh, librarians' children computer literacy is an OH issue. So I want to know what are your plans of decentralizing this uh, computer lab like in, in other counties because most of is not only Liberia. Yeah. So are there plans to yeah. teach in the last day? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about that question. We have been trying as long as we're to partner with associations. They can be in San Luis, they can be Basa, whatever it is. Those associations in the United States, the diaspora, right? Where where most of our funding come from? And then here, to see how can we take computer and bring it to the federal counties. So somebody in San Luis or in Maryland or other places, Cannot, does not have to come all over the world for the learn computer. The question is, as you can see, there are lights on, there are fans. Mm -hmm. This computer need, it need power. Most of the places, all the rural country, counties, does not have power. So, if you ask me to put computer lab in or uh, bomb or other places, how do I get power to a room to power up mm -hmm. So, I agree a partnership. I agree create a partnership with the senators, and if you're, uh, or, or maybe the diaspora of those counties to see how can we put a computer lab in those counties. So each county, my goal, our goal is to put each one computer lab in each county. But we can do it ourselves. We need the partnership of those diaspora in those counties to say, Anthony, come to, come to you, can we get one computer lab in our county? Then we can work with them and see how, what can we do. You know. So, so that, but did I hear you say you spend about ten thousand US dollars for this? Or how much is is that exactly you spent? We spent over twenty thousand dollars. About twenty thousand US dollars. Yes, for this for this lab. For this lab. Yes. And I also uh, saw like uh, uh, you were about to distribute uh, copy books. I mean um, stationaries. Yes. Uh, can you tell you more more about that so, as well? Again, I want to thank the women of DTE Energy. The women of DTE Energy. Uh, in June and July, came around and said, how can we help love you also like here? And then actually I said, we, the, the cherry in library needs school supplies. This is from my last visit, they need school supplies. So, as school opening in the United States, they also collected school supplies for children in the United States. But they also collected school supplies for children in Liberia. So, when we did the collection of the school supplies, we put them in barrels, and we went to the, the local union, local two to three, asked to pay to ship those containers, those barrels over to Liberia. So that's how the school supplies came about. What is the plan of monitoring in terms of uh, once you leave uh, these computers uh, with the administration, uh, administrators for uh, the school, the next time you come, you'll be able to um, get uh, receive a good output for the students, or your expectation can be met. Yes. So. Uh, we put a computer lab at MFA campus, Fumar Reform Academy, and that was last year project. And we did that, they called us as an entity, we want to expand our computer lab, so that other schools, other communities can get involved and can be invited to come to the computer lab. That's what we hope, that this computer lab will be utilized for all of visiting schools in the community. We cannot go to every community in, I guess it's in the county, to put computer lab. But the idea is, can this computer lab be utilized in this community? So I, I, I know whether you, you, you got my question. I'm saying uh, whether, as you, I'm not definitely you will go back. So why you are going back? Um, 
how how will you be able to look back at to, to see whether you know um, the effort that you are you have applied to right there you know it, 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 you know it can come to reality so students can really you know neutralize and I mean simply let me just say so anybody can just kind of just take these computers and take, take them home and nothing go already why you why you will be out there saying oh I have done this and I mean the students are learning yeah. So as you can see we put bar wire and stuff there. Okay. We reinforced the door. We took we took the ceiling off. We increased the, the brick okay. up here so that we can pass through and come here. We did extra security work just to protect the computer lab. We have an MOU that we'll be signing or some memorandum of understanding with the school that this program has stays here. Okay. And we have some understanding that I will step on the ground here mm. when we come to monetary facility. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So we are not just turning our back. Okay. We are creating this collaboration for next year or more. So that this company has stays here for the children. Mm. We can invest over twenty thousand dollars in this room mm. and they'll turn our back on it. We want to make sure that the kids as those children are growing up, when they get the toy grade, they can say they are completely different about what we have done for them. So this question, this is my last question, this question may maybe go for uh, go to the administration, right? But is this lab only uh, restricted to only students that are within the, within the institution or maybe any other school students can come here, maybe do research or maybe just use the computer for a certain moment? I mean, I'm, I'm happy you asked that question. That's the goal of Love Your Council Library. That's the reason why this year we started constructing another, the fifth computer lab in Rawal Fleet in, in Fordistan. So for this time, Love Your Uncle Library will build a whole home so that people within the community can utilize computer. Just like here, this computer lab, we hope that with the administration, we can work with the other schools to come and utilize this computer. The computer lab is for the children. The computer lab that we built in for this time will be for both the children and adults. But this one is for the children and the surrounding schools. That's what the okay. partnership is for. Okay, the institution and the surrounding, the surrounding schools. Institution. So we have a document to sign. I asked them that we invite other schools to come in. So let's say uh, the school can say Monday mm -hmm. and Friday, busy schools are allowed. Okay. Tuesday to Thursday is the children in the school. One hour or thirty minutes. That's a thirty minutes of coming and utilize the computer lab. Wonderful. Right? Wonderful. That allow all of us to come in and it can work within an hour, eight hours. We got nine classes. It, look, I, I'm so happy over MFA and what they are doing with the computer lab over there. We are giving them the tools. Let them take what we are giving them to see how they can grow it throughout. They can even go to all those schools outside and market this thing where other schools come in and maybe pay off a small fee to use the computer. So that it can be able to pay for electricity or whatever it takes to run this computer lab. It takes money. Let me let me see it. Okay. It takes money to run this computer lab. Yes, wonderful. So, anything last that you want to say? Anything you want to say? We didn't talk about. Anything you want to say? We didn't talk about. Uh, I would just say I want to thank all the partners that have been part of this great project. Imagine full computer lab, free of charge. And then from finance, DTE, the political company which I work for, and the women of, the, uh, of, of, of DTE. These people are American that have not been to Africa, have not been to Liberia, and they choose to come and put their money and investment in Liberia. And if they can do it in Liberia, we as Liberia that have been given this gift, we can properly use this computer the best of our So our children does not have to leave from here mm -hmm. to go to another country and say, we got to use computer. They have everything they need to use a computer. So that's Thank what you say. Can you say that name again, sir, please? Anthony Watson. Huh? Anthony okay. Watson. But however, if you want to help Love Your for Liberia, September 21st, 2024, we will be having a charity dinner. Okay. To raise more money to build computer lab in Africa like you. Thanks so very kindly for Go on our Facebook page, our Instagram and website. Love it also like you. Thank you so much, Mr. Watson. Anthony. All right, so uh, folks, you just listened to the CEO uh, uh, talking to us um, and also uh, showing us uh, the lab that has been turned over uh, to the institution. As you can see, uh, I am seeing 15 computers, all right, 15 middle class computers, and according to him, and I think like I'm seeing also 
uh, they are all new computers all right they are all new computers right here and um, 50 of them they are here and these computers will be used by the students not only uh, those students that are uh, attending this institution but also nearby schools uh, will also have the opportunity uh, to come here and be able to uh, utilize uh, uh, these materials all right so folks uh, thanks so very kindly for following spoon tv and i'm Sylvester Chiropoli, uh coming to you live from bang bang town Maserati county Liberia. So we just need to uh, take a look out there to see exactly what happens and then we uh, come to the end of this live coverage right there. Okay.